Sometimes one number is not enough to summarize our data. Measures of center, such as the mean and median, which we will talk about in the next section, they alone do not describe our data in the bigger picture. Sometimes we need more numbers to give us a more descriptive summary of what the shape of our distribution looks like. One way to get a bigger picture is to look at the five number summary. The five number summary consists of the minimum, which is the smallest value in a data set, Q1, or the 25th percentile, Q2, the median, or the 50th percentile, Q3, or the 75th percentile, and the maximum, which is the largest value in a data set. We also have to know the definition of the interquartile range, the IQR. The interquartile range IQR is the middle 50% of the observations. So remember, we talked earlier about the minimum, the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum. So if we want to find the middle 50% of observations, so remember, this is 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. And 25%. So the middle 50% is going to be between the first and the third quartile. So therefore, the inner quartile range is the difference between the third and first quartiles. And it's found using this formula, IQR equals to Q3 minus Q1. Here's an example. Find the five number summary for the following data set. Find the five number summary for the following data set. So what's the five number summary? Again, it's the minimum value, the first quartile, the median, or the second quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum value. Well, the minimum value is easy. The, the smallest value is 2, so that's our minimum. The maximum value is easy. That's the largest value, which is 14. Now we have to find the first quartile, the median, or Q2, and third quartile. So let's start with Q1. So remember, Q1, this is the 25th percentile. Okay, so this is the 25th percentile. Let's do the work down here. The 25th percentile, now remember, how do we find uh, a percentile? Well, we got to find the location of that data value. How do we get the location? We take the percentile, which is in this case the 20th, 25th percentile, divide that by 100, and multiply that by how many total uh, uh, data values there are. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data values. So we would multiply this by 10. If we take 25 divided by 100, multiply that by 10, this gives you 2.5. Remember, if L is not a whole number, then you always round up to the next whole number, which is 3. So the third data value, 1, 2, 3, is going to be 5, which means Q1 is going to be 5. The median, or Q2, remember that this is the 50th percentile. Okay, so the 50th percentile will be given by 50 over 100. It's always k over 100, where k is a percentile, times the total number of data values, which is in this case is going to be 10. So if we take 50 divided by 100, multiply that by 10, this will give you 5. Now we learned that when L is a whole number, then we take the fifth and the sixth data value and take its average. So the fifth data value is 6, the sixth data value is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the fifth data value is 6, um, the sixth data value is 8. If we take the average of the fifth, which is 6, plus the sixth data value, which is 8, divide that by 2, this is 14 divided by 2, or 7. So the median, that is equal to 7. Now let's find the third quartile. The third quartile, this is the 
75th percentile. Okay, how do we find the data value corresponding to the 75th percentile? We have L equals to 75 over 100 times 10. That equals to 7.5. If L is not a whole number, we round up to the nearest, the next whole number, not the nearest, the next whole number. So 7.5 rounds up to 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which means the uh, the 75th percentile, or Q3, this is equal to 11. So we have our first data value, which is 2. Our Q1, the minimum is 2. Our Q1 is 5. The median is 7. Q3 is 11. And the maximum is 14. And we have our five-number summary. Please find the five-number summary for example B, and we will go over this in class. Now let's take our five number summary and let's create a box plot. So how do you create a box plot? Once you have the five number summary, the rest of it's pretty easy. Okay, so we draw the five number summary. We draw a scaled axis to fit the maximum or the minimum and scale it accordingly. So this data set right here, uh, 2, 4, 5, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 13, 14, um, is from the previous example. So we already calculated the five number summary. Now let's look at the maximum and the minimum. The minimum is two and the maximum is 14. So we could probably scale the axis going by two. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. This fits uh, very nicely. Okay, so once we f find a, an axis, we draw lines above the axis matching each summary value. So what does that look like? Well, let's start with the minimum. The minimum value is 2. So we draw a line right above 2. The first quartile, Q1, that's equal to 5. So 5 is between 4 and 6. So I'm going to draw a line right there. The median is 7. That's between 6 and 8. So I'm going to draw a line right there. Um, the third quartile is 11. That's between 10 and 12. So I'm going to draw a line right there. And then the maximum value is 14. OK, now the next part says draw a box uh, around Q1 to Q3. So we're going to draw a box around Q1 to Q3. And draw whiskers out to the minimum and the maximum value. And that's our box plot. We got the minimum, Q1, the median, or Q2. Q3 and the maximum value. Draw a box around Q1 and Q3 and draw whiskers uh, to the minimum and the maximum values. We will do this in class. Okay, now let's talk about outliers. Outliers are values that are an abnormal or unusual distance away from the rest of the values. So one rule to determine if a value is an outlier, again, an outlier is a data value that's an unusual distance away from the rest of the numbers, is the 1.5 times IQR rule. So to determine if a number is an outlier, here's one way of doing this. We calculate the IQR. Remember, IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So we have to first find out what is Q3, what is Q1, and subtract those. And then we calculate the fences. So the upper fence is Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. The lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Any data points above the upper fence or below the lower fence are considered to be unusual points or outliers. So this tells us that the distance um, of these numbers beyond the upper fence or beyond the lower fence is considered to be unusual or abnormal. We can also create modified box plot plots with the outliers given these steps. Okay, so um, let's take uh, this example and identify outliers using the 1.5 IQR rule, but we will do this in class since we haven't actually looked at this data set quite yet. Okay. Um, we're going to do the rest of the examples in class. 
So you can try these if you want to, but we will go over them in class.